Hey guys, welcome to my second world edit tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to rotate, flip, copy, and paste. These are pretty basic commands that are easy to learn once you get the hang of them, and they allow you to build extremely efficiently once you're good at it. Okay, so to start, we need to get our wand. So, type slash slash wand. And now this allows us to set our positions. So when we're setting positions, we have to imagine that we're setting them in a region that makes a cube around our build. So if I want to copy this build, I need to select the entire thing. I have to imagine that these lines are here. So I select in the bottom corner to get all the bottom blocks, and then I go way up to the opposite corner and select my second position. This makes a box like this around the build, but we have to imagine that the box isn't there. So it actually looks like this. We just have to try to imagine the box. Okay, so now, say I built this house, but I don't like where it is. I would like to move it to a different location or maybe a different plot. So I have to copy it. Now, I can't just copy it from right here. I can, but let's see what happens if I try to paste it over here. So right, let's see, I want it right here. This is a mistake a lot of people make. Paste it right there, and it goes into the ground. That's because it pastes relative to your player. So, you need to copy it from a good position, normally on the ground. When I'm doing houses, I like to copy from the door. So I would come right here, do slash slash copy, then I would walk over here, and I know that I copied it at the door. So when I paste it, the door is going to pop up right in front of me in this same orientation. So let's see, paste, and there it is. The door came right in front of me, and the house was pasted perfectly on the square, exactly the way that I wanted it. Another useful command is slash slash paste negative A. I'll show you how this works right now. So, let's say we have some blocks here. Just random blocks. If I pasted right now, just like we just did, those blocks go away because that entire cube that we had over there gets pasted here, including the air blocks. Now, if I don't want that to happen, I can do this. Paste negative A. The negative A means minus air blocks. So, paste ignores air blocks, and then these blocks don't get taken away anymore. This is really handy if you're pasting your house into terraforming, so that the terraforming will stay in place and not flatten out around the house. Okay guys, now we're going to learn all about rotation. Now rotation allows us to change the orientation of our builds, complete a tower by rotating the walls around, or rotate a build around a plot in order to complete it. So to start, we're going to imagine a circle, and we have this house here. Now I want to change the orientation of this house so that it's facing a different way. So I'm going to copy the entire thing, setting our positions. Normally you do this with an axe, but this works too. Just pose 1 and pose 2. This way you don't have to click on blocks. Now the next thing I have to do is copy it. You want to copy it from your center point. So I want to rotate it around this circle, so my center point is right here. That's very important to note. You have to have a center point. If you change where your center point is, then everything will get screwed up. And I'll give you some real build examples of this later on. So I'm going to copy it right here from the center. And then the next command is rotate 90. 90 being 90 degrees. So if you don't know, that's a 90 degree angle. So basically the build is going to go from there to there, because it rotates clockwise. Okay, so now I do the rotate 90, and then I paste negative A. And you'll see the build flips over there. It's rotated around perfectly. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is 180. So if you don't know, 180 degrees looks like that. It's just a flat line. So it's going to go from there to here. So, slash copy, rotate, 180, paste, negative A. 
I could have also rotated 90 again to take it from there to there because my clipboard would have remembered that I already had the build there and it wouldn't have pasted it there again. It would have went the next 90 degrees. So you can see it started rotating around. So now one more time, this time it would be rotate to 70 if I was starting from there. But I'm gonna demonstrate that my clipboard remembers that I already did 180 degrees. So I just have to add another 90 degrees to get it all the way over here. So there's our 270. Rotate 90, paste negative A. And it pastes in this corner. So now you can see that the house has rotated all the way around the circle perfectly. This is not the same as flip, and I'll demonstrate flip later. So now we're going to use rotate to complete these towers. So you can see I've built a quarter of this tower. So what I want to do is complete it. So I'm going to select my positions, one at the top and one at the bottom, imagining a square around it so that I get the entire build. And then I want to be in the middle. So I determined this is the middle point, but it's honestly easier to stand up at the top of your build. Okay, so I want to copy it right here. And I'm not going to move off of this position while I'm rotating. So I've copied it. Now I rotate 90 and paste. And you can see it pastes in and completes the half. So now I'm going to show you what happens if you did happen to move positions accidentally while you're doing this. So if I go to the next block, rotate 90 and paste, it pastes in, but it's wrong. It's made a second middle. Didn't, didn't work. It made it an even number. So I'm going to undo that and move back onto our original block that we copied it on. Rotate. Oh, sorry, we already rotated at 90, so now we just had to paste it in the correct position. There we go, and now we can do that again. Rotate 90, paste, and our tower has completed. It's completely symmetrical all the way around, and you can see it saved us a lot of work rotating it like this. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a tower like this. So this one's just kind of a flat wall right now, it's not an entire corner, and this is more realistic to what we would actually be building. So I've just built the front of this, I want to rotate it around. So now I need to find the center of this, obviously, and I've already done this. The center is right here. But in order to do this, you just count the blocks here, and then put them here, and just find the center. If you can count it all, you'll figure it out. So I have to get my positions. Imagining a square around it, pose one. It's okay to get a few more air blocks too, that's perfectly fine. Pose two, we're probably gonna go out onto the road doing this, not sure. Okay, now I have to copy it from the center block. This is the most important thing, you have to get your center block in order to rotate. So I'm on my center block, I copy it here. Now I rotate. 90 and I'm going to paste negative A and that pastes it right there and we can see that it's pasted it perfectly and it's kind of completed our little roof here and our tower so now we're going to continue the entire way around rotate 90 paste negative A That's all the way around now. So we can see that the tower is complete. All I would have to do is finish off the roof. Okay guys, so finally we're going to learn how to use flip. So the flip command basically takes your build, flips it along an axis, making a mirror image of it. So it's like reversed. So it would look exactly like this, just on that side. Just flipped along, just like it was looking in a mirror along this line. So we pretend this is a mirror, so we would look in and we would see that the build is reversed. Okay, so let's show you rather than me trying to explain. So I set my positions as normal, then I'm going to copy it along this line. And I can literally copy it anywhere along this line, like anywhere down there. I just have to be along this line. So I'm going to do it right here, 
copy. Now I want to decide which direction I want to flip it. I want to flip it this way, so I can see by using F3 that this is east. So I'm going to take do slash slash flip east. And now I'm going to paste it. And you can see that it's made a perfect mirror image of itself along that line. That's exactly what we wanted, but normally you're not going to be flipping houses like this practically in a build. What you would normally use flip floor is something like this, where I've built half a house and I would like to finish it. So I'm going to set my positions and then this is this red line represents halfway along the house. So I'm going to copy it here on the line. Copy. Flip east. Paste. Negative A. And there. You can see that it's flipped and finished the house for me. Okay, so now in a bigger example over here, we're basically going to be doing the exact same thing, but this build would obviously have a lot more world edit commands in order to get to this point. You would be copying and pasting all of these little pillars around, you would have rotated those bigger pillars, and it would be a pain to have to continue to do this all the way along. So now that I've done half of it, I can just flip it over. I just have to select the entire thing. So I set first position, I'm going to do my speed up so I can get over there fast, and my second position. Doesn't really matter where you put these, you can have a lot of air blocks just as long as you get the entire build. Because I'm going to paste negative A, so the air blocks won't actually matter. Alright, so I'm going to stand along this line, and this time I want to flip south. So slash slash copy. So let's flip south and paste negative A. This is going to take a little while because async's got to run through the command. But we can see it pasting in perfectly symmetrical with this first half. Just flipped it over as if there was a mirror on that line. Alright, there it is. Some lighting errors there, but the build flipped perfectly. Alright guys, so finally I'm going to show you guys how I would use the commands in an actual build. So we have the tower that we rotated around earlier, and now I have this wall that I've already built. But I don't want to build this wall again, like, a whole bunch of times to get it to go all the way around the plot. I've started it here, but I don't want to continue it. I can just take this wall and put it over there with rotate. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to set my first position here. I'm going to set my second position in here, making sure that I get the entire thing. I don't care if I get a little bit of the tower, that's not a big deal. So then I'm going to sit at the center, which I know there's a center up here. Instead of going inside the tower, it's much easier to just go to the top. So I can copy it up here, rotate 90 degrees, and paste negative A. And there we go, it starts to paste in the wall. Okay, so we can basically now continue this same thing all the way around the plot. So now I can take this large section of the build and rotate it and put it in every corner. And it'll save me a lot of time. So, let's make sure we get it all. Close one. Up my speed a little bit so this goes faster. Um, I'm just going to make sure I get the top of the build. I don't care how many air blocks I have because I'm going to paste negative A. And then I have to go to the center. The center of the plot is right here, so I'm just going to rotate it around the center of the plot. So I have to copy it on the point that I want to rotate it by, and I can rotate 90 and paste negative A. And there we go, it'll start pasting. You can see that I positioned it a little off and I needed one more block to finish it, but that's fine. I can connect these easy enough. This has still saved me a lot of time. Alright, so now I can continue doing that. Also, if I wanted, I could rotate it once and then select the entire thing again and just flip it over. That would also work. 
but it's much easier in my opinion to just rotate something like this. Alright guys, so here's the wall we were just working on going all the way around a build. I'm going to paste in a house so you guys can see how that kind of works. So usually when I'm doing a build, I build my houses outside of the plot that I'm actually working on. So something like this in a blank area, and I'll just copy it in, making sure that I copy it at the door so that I know where it's going to paste. Now I come over here where I want it. I'm going to put it on this hill, put the door like here, and paste negative A so that the air blocks don't delete the terrain around it. If I didn't paste negative A, part of my tree would have been deleted. So that looks like a great placement for our house. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. It's kind of hard to explain exactly how rotate and flip work. It's something that you need to practice a lot, so don't be afraid to mess up. There's always the undo command. Just keep trying. You'll figure it out. There's such good commands, and once you figure it out, it'll be so worth it. Thanks for watching. Bye!